So the topic of the week in crypto seems to be, is the SEC going after staking? Is the SEC looking to make staking particular, and I'm talking about proof of stake chain staking, illegal in the US? An event that sort of um, gotten everybody riled up is the settlement that they reached with Kraken for Kraken staking as a service, service um, and they settled for $30 million. Coinbase's Brian Armstrong also said he heard whispers that the SEC was planning to ban staking in the United States. The practicalities behind banning are one thing, but you know the fact is that there's there's talk of this. Now, I think what we need to do is just step back a little bit. I also had to sit through the nauseating video from Gensler explaining what staking was and what staking as service was and the problem that they had it with. And I read through some of the filings in, in relation to the Kraken situation. And I just took a few notes because I think it's important for us to step back a little bit and see what the SEC actually did and didn't say, because I think there's a lot of fear mongering going around and catastrophizing, which we don't need, right? We need to be mature and responsible and responsive. We also need to understand that um, the SEC doesn't, make laws. So the SEC isn't going to seek to ban anything. It just applies laws terribly, in a terrible way, right? It's a, it's a regulation by enforcement. So it's a regulator. They don't make law. The laws are already there. They simply enforce them. Um, so I don't know that uh, the SEC would have the capacity to ban staking as a service is a sort of a broad thing. They're going to do what they typically do, which is go after individual services and individual companies one by one. That's what they do. It's a terrible way to regulate. But what I wanted to anyway highlight to everybody is that this, these are the things that they particularly seem to have a problem with, not necessarily staking itself, although who knows what's going to happen because who knows what they're going to come up with in any given week. But in relation to the Kraken case, the issues seemed to be uh, relating to two, two primary things. One, the um, who has custody of the coins being staked in the case of a staking as a service arrangement. So if it's the platform that holds custody of the coins, or is it the customers that re retain custody while they're, while they're staking, while they're being staked? And the other issue they had was the co-mingling of funds. Now, of course, staking as a service is going to co-mingle users' funds. If you want to stake on Ethereum, you need 32 ETH. Staking as a service is great for people who don't have 32 ETH and have, say, 15 but they're going to be able to, that they'll have to have their funds commingled with, you know, someone who has 17 coins, for example, but it'll all be commingled together and everyone will earn their return. Now, what the SEC is saying is that if funds are commingled and if funds are indeed in custody of the staking service, staking as a service provider, then they need to make those declarations to the consumers and they need to be providing some um, consumer protections to those consumers and you know marketing has always been an issue for the SEC you we've I think we've all worked on projects where everyone's you know we have to remind each other never talk about token price never talk about moons and Lambos not even internally um, so what kind of guarantees are being given what kind of promises are being given investors and what kind of guarantees and safeguards out there behind those products. So um, the SEC found that Kraken staking as a service product itself was in fact an offering of securities which needed to be registered and therefore regulated by the SEC. So that's where we're at. Will staking be banned in the US? Anything is possible. How that will have come about, I don't know. Obviously, I mean, one of the, one of the, principal tenets of blockchain is you can't actually stop it so just like you can't stop the internet so you know how do you how do you reach a point where you can actually effectively regulate it i think i think we can all accept that regulation is 
going to come to crypto. There's going to be KYC AML laws. I think we can probably, if we're being right-minded about this, we can probably accept that that's reasonable. Um, it applies everywhere else, so why, why would it not apply to crypto? In terms of other kinds of regulations, they're coming. Crypto will be regulated, and it'll be regulated differently in different jurisdictions. Uh, it, it is painstakingly slow how governments are responding to this this new technology and these new challenges. Who's going to be first out of the gate with a proper set of decent regulations around crypto? You know, the, the Japanese early on and um, the, the Australian government um, were, were pretty good getting ahead with some regulatory approaches and with some, you know, guidelines for companies working in the space. But the US has, has really dragged its feet. And I don't think the SEC makes anything clearer by deliberately making things not clear. I think that's what they do. What the SEC would argue is that the rules are there. The Howey test is there. We can all interpret that. We all know what that means. If you pass the Howey test, as in if you fail the Howey, if you pass the Howey test, then that's a security and it needs to be regulated. The CFTC is a little more accommodating toward uh, cryptocurrencies in general. But again, we don't really know where the U.S. is going to fall either way. We don't know if, if regulation is coming sooner or later. I can imagine when you ban earmarks and stuff, you it gets a lot more difficult to get regulation through. Regulation could be sometime coming in the U.S., I think. But it will come, and I think we need to be prepared for it when it does. Some regulatory clarity, of course, from the U.S. government would be great. I don't think we're going to get that. Uh, any, anytime soon but anyway I just wanted to give my thoughts that I think we need to take a step back a little bit not be fearful the staking is going to be banned in the in the United States but that the SEC has a problem with platforms that offer staking as a service services commingling funds uh, and where where are those funds custodied and then how that how that service is then marketed to to retail investors. So I hope you found this useful. Um, please subscribe if you did. Thank you.